What's up guys, Mark Johnson here with AC Diesel. Uh, I just want to talk a little bit more about where AC Diesel's at, you know, midway through the year uh, with the new pickups and uh, how we're performing. Um, with the addition of Mike Hitman has really helped kind of turn the team around a whole lot differently than it was at the beginning of the year. Kind of put everybody in place and uh, put everybody on their jobs and held everybody accountable. Uh, so we're moving in the upward trend versus the downward. Uh, so we'll see how these next two events go. So the biggest um, learning curve for the team this year is getting all these top level players start playing together, right, and become a team. Whenever you put a lot of guys together who haven't played together before, God damn it, Greg. <laughs> whenever, you, whenever you put a lot of guys together that haven't played together before, um, now you just try to rebuild a team. So it just takes time to build a team, and uh, we're getting there. So we're two events in, team, uh, actually, two, yeah, two events in, or three events in, right? We're three events in? Three events in, the team is uh, finally starting to become a team a little bit more on and off the field. Uh, so it's a lot lot different feeling now going into Chicago. One of the biggest elements that Mike Hinman brings to the team is just accountability, man, uh, and, 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 a, and a leader that people have to s shut up and just listen to, right? And hold, holds everybody accountable for their jobs and their personal individual skills, not only on the field and off the field, but also when they're at home uh, when the team's not around. So he's actually helping us kind of stay in order. You want your, your, your wife can come in too. <laughs> All right. um, do you think Mike was the missing piece that the team needed? Um, a leader was a missing piece, right? Uh, we have a lot of guys that, um, you know, between myself, Rab, Kyle, Greg, you know, we're all trying to lead. And, you know, if you got a lot of chiefs and not everybody's just being doing their jobs, you know, eventually it kind of, um, it doesn't go anywhere, right? You know, you got... So you had to have a warden come in and kind of just put everybody in check and say, I'm in charge, I'm the guy, shut your mouth, do what I tell you to do. And you know, that's what's happening right now. And then not in that particular fashion, but you know, that's basically what you need to do is just sit back and do your fucking job. We are still at POC. Would you care to comment on the uh, five-man drone clip that you're now infamous yeah. for again? Uh, I guess I'm paintball villain. That's just you know the nature of the beast. Whenever you come out here and play it, uh, you know pretty much ICC. Um, shit's gonna happen. It's open paintball. You know, there's a bunch of tempers. You know, paintballs are flying. The fuckers hurt. So got a little Mexican standoff, and um, I got he got the better end of the deal, and you know we're good. It's paintball. Go on to the next one. All right. Well, this is. Of course, the Ryan Christian. Actually, he got the worst end of the deal. I got the better end yeah, of the deal. Yeah, I was saying, uh, he Sorry. couldn't see. <laughs> yeah, he got the worst end of the deal. <laughs> but, right. you know, somebody has to, you know? Uh, like, I've been watching some of the other bunkerings. Like, yeah, somebody's always fucked. Yeah. Um, okay, so, are you still happy with the team investment or wish you bought the Impalas? Shit, that's a hard question. <laughs> we'll see. Ask me after World Cup. You know, we put one dub up, and that's yeah, that helps everything right there, right? All right. So well, we're moving in the right direction. Is is the main goal uh, for anybody wondering? It's the team is progressing. Team is getting better. And I would just say, hey, just watch us. We'll we'll show you.